math enthusiast. Welcome to Math with Ihan. In case you were wondering, I am Ihan. This is Math with me. This week, we're going to be solving a problem with geometric series. Let's say Michael Jordan drops a basketball from the top of Willis Tower, which is at a height of 1600 feet. The ball bounces back up to 800 feet for the first time. The second time, the ball bounces back up to only 400 feet. Well, if this pattern continues, how much does the ball travel until it is at rest? Here is the answer to the question. Now, let's call this total distance traveled by the ball until it comes to a rest as x. Since the ball is dropped from 1600 feet, first expression, first number will be 1600 feet plus. Remember, the ball always reaches up to the half of the distance it was just dropped from. So, next time it will reach up to 800 feet and it will still come down to the floor. So that's why I'm going to multiply this 2 by 800. Now that it will bounce back up to half of the distance it just reached the maximum in the previous, that will be 400 times another 2 because the ball moves up and down, up and down, right? So next number will be 2 times half of this 400 which is 200 and so on. And this is going to go forever until this, this height becomes zero eventually. So the question is, how can I find the value of this numerical expression? So, putting this 1600 aside, right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find the common expression factor that I can pull out. If I simply use 2 times 800 as the common factor and open the parentheses, the first expression I'm going to left, be left with here will be 1 plus 2 times 400 since I divided that by 2 times 800 which is common factor I'll be left with 1 half right and then my third expression will be 2 times 200 divided by 2 times 800 2 is cancelled out will be equal to 1 fourth and then as you see the, the pattern develops to be 1 over 8 1 over 16 and so on so the question reduces to finding the sum of these infinite fractions. Let's call this number as a, right? a is equal to 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, and so on. If I double this, both sides of the expression, this becomes 2a, right? And if you multiply everything by 2 here, all of these, this is 2 plus 1 over 2 times 2 is equal to 1, 1 over 4 times 2 is 1 and a half, 1 over 4, 1 over 8, and so on. So, here comes the trick. When you look at this expression, after 2, the rest starting with 1 is the same as the expression I, also, uh, I just set it up to a. So, in other words, I can construct my equation to be 2a plus, 2a is equal to 2 plus this portion which is a. So it just came down to a very simple linear equation to solve where a is equal to 2. Okay, I'm almost done, just bear with me. All you need to do is replace this a in the expression, the original expression above and that's going to be 1600 plus 2 times 800 times another 2 which will give you 4800 feet. That means the ball will travel 4,800 feet before it came to the rest. Now it's time for math with you. I'm going to give you our problem of the week and I need you to help us solve it in the comments. Here's the question. What is the sum of all rational numbers in the form of 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus all the way up to 1 over 99 times 100. Don't forget to watch next week's video for the answer. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check back every Friday for a new video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, check out our website and our social media 